Hola, Chef Buck here, and I uh, hope you're having a great Saturday or Sunday or whenever you're watching this video. I don't have anything to edit, I don't have anything to upload. Food wise, we've had a very transitory week. We've been doing a lot of, of strange stuff, packing and unpacking and, and uh, moving gears, and so I didn't cook anything. I didn't cook anything worth making a video about. I mean, look, I'm, I'm drinking kefir, so that's the kind of week I'm having. I don't know. This is supposed to be good for you. We're gonna st we're starting a spa. We're starting a spa attitude. We're gonna we're in, we're we're just starting a house that, that is sort of off the beaten path, so it's gonna be easy to be a homebody. So we're gonna take this opportunity while we're doing this house sit for the next few weeks, uh, almost a couple months. Uh, to maybe do some healthy stuff. I'm sure we'll go out to some bakeries and make some mistakes. I'm sure. Uh, I had to fight the urge to uh, get a pizza tonight, you know, because we were in transition today, so it would have been very easy uh, to make that decision. But instead, I made an equally poor decision. Can this be good for you? It's like buttermilk cultured whole milk, how good can that be? We're gonna be trying to get in shape, or better shape, because I'm excited about traveling. Uh, because I was excited this year, about this time I started to get excited about traveling, overseas traveling, uh, because it looks like the pandemic was uh, kind of coming to a conclusion, psychologically, and I sort of feel that way this year. You know, hopefully the same thing will happen again where once fall gets here, um, you know, have a different outlook. But I'm optimistic again. So let's see what's going to happen. We got this house sit, and then we got a repeat house sit in Central Florida, and another repeat house sit in Central Florida. And that should take us all the way to the middle of August or the end of August if everything, if all those moving parts keep moving in the correct manner. But, you know, with house sitting, there's always, I mean, you have to be open minded because there's more moving parts. And, Things can change, but I don't think we're going to make any plans for the fall, how sitting was, unless something comes up that I just can't not apply for. Because it's like, because house sitting, for me, it's almost like a gambling addiction. You know, I think I've, I've uh, mentioned this metaphor before where it's like pulling a lever and things come up and you... And you feel like you've won something if you see a house sit that you really like and you apply for it and get a good response. So that could happen. But if nothing like that happens, I think that we might be going to South America or Central America or maybe back to Mexico. Although, I kind of don't want to go back to Mexico because maybe my expectations are too high because I was so high on Mexico when we left Mexico because Mexico is fantastic. But... I mean, I think Mexico is just fantastic. I mean, it's just, there's, that's, that's the best word for it. Fantastic. Amazing, you know, those kind of words. But that's not the greatest attitude to have when you are going into an experience. It's like, you know, have, going to see a movie. You don't want to have super duper high expectations because you're going to set yourself up for disappointment. So I feel like I might be too excited about going back to Mexico and I, maybe I should do something else before I do that, just in case. Um, so I have been looking into a lot of other places, although, I mean, I, I watch these uh, videos, travel videos of folks in different areas in Central America, and especially in Ecuador and Peru, and you know, you know they're eating these dishes that don't look all that amazing, and then they're like, mm, this is so good. But I've had dishes in, in Chile, and I mean, you can find good food, but there's a lot of bland food uh, that I've come across. Although not in Mexico, the food in Mexico was so good. And I, I'm afraid that if I go to any of these other countries, it's not gonna be as good. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But uh, I've been on such a consistent uh, 
uh, video streak for so long now. Even though I don't have a cooking video today, I wanted to upload a video because I like that doing the comments and stuff on the weekend. And, and uh, I don't know. So I just wanted to say hey and uh, say that I don't have a cooking video, but maybe this week we'll do something that's better than just a cup of kefir. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't know if this is actually a thing I should be drinking. Maybe if I added this to my coffee. I don't know if I want to do that to my coffee. My battery went kaput. So I guess that's a sign I've been talking too long. Hopefully you caught the tail end of what I was saying because it was brilliant. I mean, what I was saying there right at the end before the camera died, ah, oh, it was gold. Remember, um, remember strawberry quick? I guess they have strawberry kefir. But I think that would probably defeat the reason, the purpose of drinking this kind of stuff. I'm not even sure what the purpose is. I mean, is this stuff, I mean, it's like a milkshake. It's like a milkshake gone. It's like a milkshake with a bad attitude. You know, like when Santa Claus gives you a lump of coal. This is like if you want a milkshake. And you've been a bad kid, you get kefir. Kefir? Hope everybody's doing fantastic. I'll try to have something more interesting than uh, this stuff uh, for next weekend. Maybe we'll cook something up that's very healthy and super delicious this week. I don't know. I think our goal is to be bland. I think we're going to have plain oatmeal tomorrow. We're going to boot camp it. We're going to boot camp it this week. I might even do a squat thrust tomorrow. So, if you don't see a video from me next week, it's because my squat thrust didn't work out. I'm kind of nervous about that. I was talking to somebody uh, the other day and they were telling me to play pickleball. And I looked at some information about pickleball. And I think pickleball might be a little too intensive for me. I think I need to build up to pickleball. I don't think I, don't think I can just jump into pickleball. I might have to do some speed walking first. Oh yeah, highly recommend this stuff. This needs, um, what's that stuff, Ovaltine. Ovaltine maybe could save this. Ovaltine. Yeah, I'm old. Hope everybody's having a great weekend and uh, I'll see how fast the internet here is at this uh, house sit. Uh, if you don't see this video, it's because the internet here isn't cutting it. But if you do see it, ding! That'll be good.